Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel. Atlas and I am very, very excited tonight. I love barbecue and I've got a lot to eat tonight, but I'm going for overall win number 1057. I'm here pretty much in the middle of nowhere, which means there's probably really good food, but I'm here for the first time in Hollowayville, Illinois. We've got most of the town here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this challenge since seeing photos of it, but I'm here for the first time at Tony's Butt Shack Barbecue and Catering. I'm hoping to become the first person to dominate Tony's Butt Buster Barbecue Challenge. Now, this all looks and smells amazing. It's about six and a half to seven pounds. I've got just 45 minutes to finish everything here. Now I've got a pretty much almost a full rack. There's eight bones of their St. Louis style barbecue smoked ribs. We've got a full pound of smoked beef brisket. We've got a full pound of their smoked pulled pork. That looks juicy. And this looks like a meat if you just look at it, but it is not. It is actually about a pound of their fried potato salad. And it's called a salad, but there are not too many healthy vegetables in this thing other than onions, but it looks amazing. It's a secret recipe. They didn't even tell me much about it, but I'm excited to try that. I could have gone with regular mac and cheese or I got their roasted jalapeno, so it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Jalapeno mac and cheese, that looks amazing. And then I've also got this right here. It is about a pound total, but look at that thing. That is thick, double C thick, but it is their smoked meatloaf sandwich on Texas toast. So yeah, just so much here. And I forgot about these two massive freshly made or freshly baked cornbread muffins. So I've got all this to finish in just 45 minutes. If I fail, it's gonna be about $59. But if I win, I will get my entire meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection. And I will be the first person with my name and photo up on their brand new wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, big, big thank you to our friend Tony, his wife Heather, the owners here of Tony's Butt Shack Barbecue and Catering. The business has been around for eight years. They've been here at this location in Hollowayville for two years, but I'm gonna start out eating some of this brisket. We'll see what happens and do our best. One, two, three, boom! All right. That's juicy. All these sauces are homemade. They all look amazing. I'm on the original. I'm just using the sauce just to help get this down. It's juicy, it's nice. I'm having a few of these fried potatoes. These are amazing. Very flavorful. Last piece of the smoked brisket, delicious. Let's work on some of these ribs. Pretty good. One down, seven to go. These ribs are yummy, they're going right down. Meat's coming right off. And we're halfway done with the ribs, four more to go, yummy.
I'm trying to swallow a lot of meat at one time, but it's hard. I'm freezing. Shut up! I'm on the last rep. All right, done with two of the meats. Now I'm gonna work on this meatloaf sandwich. I'm actually gonna try it with no sauce first and then probably add something, but 13 minutes, 20 seconds in, we're gonna get all this. We're getting there. Last bites of the meatloaf sandwich. Delicious. And finish the last cornbread muffin. I don't want to be too full at the end to finish this. This is huge, but delicious. And let's work on some of this pulled pork. Ooh, that is juicy too. So they're gonna use some sauce though, cause less than 30 minutes to go. Outstanding service here at Tony's Butt Shack Barbecue and Catering. Heather just brought me a Diet Coke and it is gonna be very vital to getting all this down. Let's finish all this pulled pork. We're over halfway through the time limit. I think I can get this. I got all of the chewy meats down. Now just this pulled pork. Let's do it. Why they call it a challenge. This is a lot of food. We are pretty much done with the meats now. Just one more bite of this pulled pork and then we have two pounds to go. I'm just gonna keep on switching between. Uh, all right, we still have 15 minutes to go. We got this. I'm 80% sure Katina's gonna beat my time. I've been trying my best. She seems to be more confident than I am. Done with the fried potato salad. One of my favorite salads I've ever had. I said I was gonna keep switching back and forth earlier, but those fried potatoes were like crispy and stuff. I really liked the texture, but I wanted to get them all down and done before I uh, finished all this mac and cheese, but thankfully this doesn't seem too spicy. I think we're gonna get it. That's not Kraft. <laughs> no, it's not. I'd say it's Aldi brand, but I don't think there's an Aldi within 75 miles. I'm sure there's a Dollar General nearby. And a Casey's Pizza. Before I finish, I gotta give a shout out to my friend Chris. He was involved with a lot of the smoking of all the meats, did a very good job. He actually contacted us about coming down here for this challenge. Much appreciated, Chris, very well done. All right, 
We got this. Under 40 minutes. Ah. I gotta tell you, there was a little point there in the middle that I wasn't 100% sure I was gonna finish. But, oh, that was so good. I am the first winner. Katina's going after me and she's got a tough time to beat. The link for her video is down in the description. But the record right now for the Butt Buster Barbecue Challenge here at Tony's Butt Shack Barbecue and Catering, 39 minutes and 56 seconds. I was hoping for some banana pudding for dessert, but they might have won up it. This is called a Texas sheet cake. God knows what's in it. I know it's not low calorie, but I'm not gonna finish all of this, but I need to settle my stomach with some dessert. So cheers to all of you guys watching. Thanks for being here. Okay, that was really good. <laughs> It's cold too, so that's just a different taste altogether. Really good, I'm gonna have that later. But yeah, I don't really know what I liked most out of that challenge. The ribs were meaty, those were delicious. I used some of the different sauces here, but I really didn't need to, because all the meat was juicy. Chris did a great job. I know, of course, Tony helped with it all. His whole staff here did a great job. I'm gonna go with that meatloaf sandwich as being my favorite. And that was smoked meatloaf. It was delicious with the Gouda cheese, the Texas toast that went right down. It was amazing. But I also enjoyed the smoked brisket, the pulled pork, enjoyed the fried potato salad, and that mac and cheese was great too. So yeah, I'm gonna get my meal free. I will get a sweet t-shirt to add to my collection, and I will be the very first person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame here at Tony's Butt Shack Barbecue and Catering in Hollowayville, Illinois. So thank you guys all for being here. For me, it was overall win number 1,057. I've got another challenge coming up in New London, Wisconsin, starting the weekend off next weekend. But thank you guys for watching.